What's up athletes and entrepreneurs? In today's video, I'm going to compare the Snapchat Spectacles 3 against the Facebook Stories, which is in this box. I will unbox it. I will show you what the experience is like on both devices and discuss which one I like most and why and show you the experiences on the iPhone apps as well. Let's get into it. First is the unboxing experience. I did already open this little tab up. They make it really easy to open the box as well as return it. I really love that. Thank you, Ray-Ban. Open it with care. They already provide an adhesive strip so you don't have to do much work if you need to repack it. Now this specific Ray-Ban Stories is the Meteor model. Ray-Ban Stories, so they're kind of bigger, more roundish shape. This was really the only one they had in stock when I initially ordered it. They even give you a how-to guide on returning it. That's neat. So if you don't like them, it's easy to return. This is kind of what the box looks like. And then you have a pull tab right here. Bam, pull that out. Once again, it says Ray-Ban Stories. Ray-Ban Stories Meteor Blue is the version I got. And it just slides right off. We have their case. This is a charging case. It says Ray-Ban on it. Good work, Ray-Ban and Facebook. It has a USB-C port on the back. Inside you have the actual glasses. These are the Meteor version. Look at that, you can see the two cameras on there, the rounded edges. This is the blue color, and it says Ray-Ban there as well as on the lenses. And inside you can see there's a little charging piece. You'll have to pull a plastic off the tab, but this is where you can store and charge your glasses. You will have a battery percentage for both the case and the glasses, just like you do for Snapchat. So they say download the Facebook View app. You have to have a Facebook account to use the Ray-Ban stories, just like you would with Snapchat Spectacles, you need a Snapchat account. Oh, look at that. So they do provide a very nice USB-C to USB-C cable, classic. It's, it's relatively decent material, nothing insane. I would like to see more companies do the threaded kind of wrapped cables that we started to see from Apple on the new keyboards. You will need your own charging brick as, as with most devices we're staring, starting to see out there. Inside of here, you have a little glasses cleaning case as well as your safety, wear and care information. But let's be honest, who reads the manuals? Now, when it comes to the actual glasses, this is what they look like. With the cameras on the front, if I'm going to press this button, there, you can see the little LED right there is now on and it is recording. There's also a little LED right there, right, to denote that it's recording from your inside perspective. It has speakers as well as volume control. You have your little power button right here and the little control right here for the volume. Now I can put this on. It is still recording actually, and it makes a sound. So now I can go ahead and press this. Bam, I hear a ding, and now it is recording. It is recording the camera view right here. You can see the mess that is behind us. This is a five megapixel camera. I think quality wise, it is definitely slightly better than the Snapchat Spectacles from my experience in the app. Well, let's compare the Snapchat Spectacles versus the Ray-Ban Stories. So this is what the Ray-Ban Stories look like on my face specifically, I think, I don't have the best face for glasses. Now let's switch it out for the Snapchat Spectacles 3. This one I replaced with a prescription lens, transitions so I can use indoors and outdoors. And you can see the cameras right there, we'll press the button. And this is now, it is recording versus this. So it is definitely slightly uh, more drastic on the Snapchat Spectacles with the turning dial right there. And the look of this is very unique, right? Especially with the clear lenses. This is kind of the side profile view, side profile view. And in terms of quality, you can kind of see. And these ones export in a circle. You can also do square, things like that. But circle will get you most the most amount of data and then you can crop in from there. And the Snapchat will also save the location of the images that you take and you can easily share it on Snap. Can you hear that? So I just started uh, Spotify on there. You can actually listen to music. That's one thing the spectacles do not have. Wow, this is very interesting. It honestly feels like an immersive sound experience when you're wearing and playing music. So that means I can take phone calls, I can listen to music and podcasts, and no one will know that I they have something in my ear. I can still hear the environment around me. Right, you're not gonna have a deep bass when it comes to the speaker, so obviously I prefer to use some high, higher quality headphones if you're an audiophile. But in terms of just standard basic phone calls, maybe a podcast where the audio quality isn't as important, these could be very, very nice. In terms of build quality and look, this one has more of a metal feel to it. It's slightly heavier, even though there's a little less glasses, right? It's thin on the sides. It's got this massive, massive cameras on the front and the sides as well. Whereas the Ray-Bans, they feel more like plastic, right? They're definitely lighter. It looks and feels more like regular glasses, whereas this is like some futuristic thing. <laughs> so you definitely stand out when you're wearing them. So the camera size on this is much smaller. If you look at the two cameras side by side, right? The camera is about half of the size, maybe even more. That's insane. So if you look at those two camera sizes right there, you can tell it is definitely different. 
Oh, it's playing again. <laughs> so prescription wise and cost, this can run you almost $540 with prescription lenses. Whereas these ones, they don't sell them with prescriptions. You can get it through a third party after the fact. So you have to order them, they get to your house, then you can send them back in and get prescription lenses, which is which I did. And I don't, I'm not a big fan. The, lens, the prescription feels a little off, a little weird compared to my regular glasses, even though it's the same prescription. So I don't wear them as much as well as the cameras are just so freaking large. It stands out and I look like a creep. So it's just hard to wear these outside as a normal person. When it comes to the case, the case is really neat. You can actually fold the case so it's thin when you are wearing glasses. And then when you need the case, pop, it opens up. I can take these off and both the glasses and the case hold a charge. You can see the charging happens on the top of the nose bridge. I will slide these in and I will get a how much charge is left on the Snapchat spectacles. So that is neat. I can go ahead and close it and carry this and go where I need to go. On the Ray-Bans, the charging unit is actually on the other side. But same concept except their case does not fold. It will always be a rather thick case. I can go ahead and place my Ray-Ban stories right there. Both have USB-C, so thank you for that. Snapchat did send USB-A to USB-C cables, whereas Ray-Ban stories, USB-C to USB-C. Now, when it comes to their apps, so here is the Snapchat <laughs> Spectacles app I am recording. This is the initial homepage when I load, it comes here. On Facebook View, you will see this on the Facebook app. It is a entirely different app just for their glasses. Now you can see I've already pre-recorded some videos. We took it out yesterday during the day and I tested it. There were sunglasses, we were outside, I wanted to use it. When I'm on the View app, you can go ahead and I can see my percentage of the case as well as the glasses themselves. I'm connected, I have Facebook Assistant and I can change my settings as needed here. If I wanna view a video, The audio sounds a little muffled. And then I can save the videos automatically to my phone if I want or save them more individually as I need. I can like these videos. They give you ability to adjust, trim, crop as needed, right? When I go ahead to go to crop, if I wanna keep it as a square, I can. If I prefer the landscape mode or the portrait mode, I can do that too. So I'm trying to share on a certain platform. And I have my favorites here. If I wanna download more photos, it'll show me on the bottom right, right? It says I have five clips left. I hit the download button and it's gonna connect via Wi-Fi and then download there, join. And now it's gonna download from the Ray-Ban stories into my phone. It's pretty fast. Now when you go to the Snapchat app, what I need to do is actually hit the Smack Spectacles button. It'll say import one snap. I go ahead and tap import. Same thing, it's going to connect via Wi-Fi. I think the Snapchat software is a little slower than Facebook. There, now it is downloading, it is importing, I should say. And if we go look at the Facebook one, we can see that it's almost done with all five. So then I can go ahead and see that it's importing. I can message this directly to somebody or open it in any app that I'd like and airdrop it. And what's neat about the Facebook stories is watch, I swipe down from the top right, I go ahead and Ray-Ban stories, I am connected. It is a speaker as well as my microphone, even though it's in the case, I don't know why it's playing through the Snapchat spectacles in the case. Right now, it looks like this one has finished importing. When I go to the Snapchat one, instead of a square like Facebook stories, you actually get a circular, circular kind of view. Look at that. So I can see what it looks like. The quality does not look as nice. I can share it directly to Snapchat stories if I want versus like Facebook, you would do Instagram stories if you want. I can like it and then you can see that it looks more like a circle on this app, view and VR, which I also have the option of since it says, this has two cameras, you can view it in VR mode. I can move it to my eyes only, get the HD, Maybe I want to export it. You have your different options, black border. So here are the crop options. I have less choice of, let's say if I want to do nine by 16, I can't really move it side by side. You're kind of locked in because it's really only exporting a circular video. Save to camera roll. So let's do that. And then I can go save the camera roll on here. Saved, saved. Still processing some captures here. When it comes to preference, honestly, the Snapchat spectacles, if you were trying to stand out and be different, I would go with this variation, but because I like to be more subtle and minimalistic, the Ray-Ban stories is the choice for me. And since I don't have sunglasses, I'm gonna get the Wayfair prescription model. And when it's bright and sunny outside, I will wear these, be able to capture any outdoor adventure I'm doing and still use them as glasses. It's kind of inconspicuous because the LED is so small. So I feel more comfortable wearing these and capturing moments without people staring at me thinking I'm recording them all the time. So that is my choice, my preference. Honestly, what I want is these clear glasses with a little camera. What will be neat and I want to experiment with is Apple Watch only and Facebook Ray-Bans. Then you can capture any moments you want. You can live your life without having a phone as a distraction. I can still call message people using my watch. Uh, what would be super neat is if I can just connect my watch to the Ray-Ban spectacles. I wonder if that's possible. But if you want to see that video, 
24 hour challenge with the Apple Watch and Ray-Ban stories, let me know in the comments below. Oh, and one thing to note is if you go to spectacles.com, Snapchat does has another generation on top of the threes, which looks super funky, futuristic, flat line. And these ones actually have AR capabilities where you can view in the world, the regular world with augmented reality. I haven't tried those, don't plan on purchasing them, but they look interesting.